Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I was thinking of doing something just a little bit different, just a little, little bit different and we will be needing this micron pens, actually some ink pens that are archival ink and also at least waterproof ink so you could do this. Also I will be using watercolors I made myself, two jars of water for cleaning and rinsing my brush and just any brush you have. I think I'm gonna use just one larger brush around and one smaller and that is basically it. I will be using a flat brush, just a little smaller flat brush, but that's not actually what you really really need. And I did make my sketch on just regular printing paper and then I'm tracing it onto my watercolor paper using a graphite paper and as always you can find a sketch for download on my website. There is a link in the description box so go ahead download it for yourself and we can get started. Also if you want to if you want to sketch it yourself well you're very welcome that's that's also a great idea. After tracing my sketch I'm using just this kneaded eraser, artist eraser to lighten it and to pick up the excess graphite. Afterwards I am using a micron pen. This is as I said an ink pen and it should be a waterproof because if it's not waterproof you're gonna later on just smudge it onto your watercolor paper and well you're not gonna be left with basically anything but some staining on the paper so it has to be it has to be a waterproof marker, ink pen, whatever pen you have. You can also use ink and a pen for, for adding ink. Well, that is also fine or just any marker that you have that is a waterproof marker. And I'm going onto my lines that I made with sketch. And as you can see, I'm not really trying to make them straight or perfect. I am doing them to be a little bit cut. So I think this looks, well, I think it looks better. So when finished with with inking, I'm moving on to doing the wash or painting with watercolors and first I'm using this well yellow color. This is a little bit darker yellow and then adding some little bit more hmm, earthy brownish colors and I'm going from the lightest where the candle is to the darkest on the upper part and the part that is further away from the candle. You can basically use any yellows or browns that you have that will be, that will be just fine, any warmer tones, maybe some burnt, uh, uh, burnt sienna, uh, raw sienna, maybe some Naples yellow or cadmium yellow medium around the candle, that will be just fine. Any warmer yellow and warmer brown tones. And the same thing I'm doing on the side of, of my um, on the side of the lantern and also on one and on the other same, just at the part that is nearest to the candle, I'm painting the lightest and the further furthest away a little bit darker. And I've also added just a little bit of that black to my dark brown to make it even darker. And you can see right now I'm adding it on the furthest part from the candle and I'm starting off with lighter yellow, then a little lighter brown, darker brown and that black. That is basically it, how I'm painting the lantern and then moving on to the candle and also using that yellow. But this time I did, well, I did use a lot of water just to make it quite light wash and then adding a little bit darker brown and then this is mix of blue and red to paint in to get that violetish color and it's quite light and not really not really vibrant uh, vibrant uh, violet but just again a little bit earthy tones those are all earth pigments so they are somewhat earthy tones but if you don't have those it's just fine you can use you can find any colors you have and just try to match my colors or or not you can basically use any colors you like and then now i'm adding just a little bit of the green around the lantern and i'm going all the way around the lantern rinsing my brush and making that part a little bit lighter because I want that part to be painted but quite light that that is a further away from the lantern and just basically make all the, all the eyes and all the focus on the lantern adding just a little bit of that brown and I will add also a little bit of the black and I was thinking today you know I would I did plan to paint a lantern and I was thinking how should I paint it and I was thinking to myself well I guess 
I, I never did a video about ink and wash. I should do that. I should do a video about ink and wash. And I really do like how that looks. And I really do like, well, I, I, I do like that impression. So I thought to myself, well, why not doing something just a little bit different that, that could also go into the category of fall paintings. So I thought to myself, why not? But again, a little bit something different. It is Inktober. So why not add a little bit of the ink? I'm not doing really Inktober, but you know, in some paintings I could do, I could add just a little bit of the ink. So why not? And if you are looking for inspiration, for your painting or idea for this day or whatever day well this is this is actually the one you can use it maybe also apply it on some other ideas or on some other subjects to paint and as you can see I'm painting it quite loose I'm not really trying to do a lot of details right now I'm using a light wash of black and just adding it here and there where the shadows are, where I think should the shadows be and I'm not painting the entire lantern but just here and there adding it I do want some parts to stay white and lighter and I will add a little one more layer of the paint but for now this is just fine and also added that black into the holes of my lantern and well I think this is quite fun this this is quite fun and I could do a little bit more of tutorials with ink and wash why not and I do, I actually did not use that style earlier and I did not paint as much. I did use ink uh, pens and to paint bookmarks or to add lining or to draw onto my watercolors, but I did not use it actually to, well, not that much to paint on the paint, to, to ink it, to draw the sketch and then paint on it. But I find it to be quite fun. So, well, I guess, um, I'm caught up also in that ink and inking thing going on right now and everywhere where I look on Instagram, on YouTube. So I thought to myself, why not? Maybe people are looking for some inspiration. So why not? And this one is quite easy to do. And I think any beginner or if you are just thinking about trying this, well, I think this is quite simple and easy. Anyone can really do that. And we're not trying to paint it any particular particularly realistic of course it is just the impressions so quite simple and easy and I'm using just the quiet tones actually as you can see just this yellow slightly brownish color and black and that is it I'm not really actually yes a little bit of violet color for the shadows and the candle but I'm not really trying to use too much colors or to introduce too much colors in this I do want it to be a fallish and I do want it to be you know quite sadly <laughs> looking I guess and not bright not using too much colors and right now that is when I was saying I will use the flat brush you can see right now I'm just using a flat brush and adding just a little bit of shadows on the sides of those lines on those little hmm, sticks on the lantern and after finishing with watercolors I left it to dry completely and you do have to let it dry absolutely completely or of course you're gonna smudge it when adding ink on top of your painting and I did want it to add just a little bit more of ink work just to make it a little bit more interesting add some shadows here and there and it was looking too clean for me so as I said I did want it to add just a little bit more of the details with that black ink pen and with those last couple of details and added here and there I'll be finishing off this painting this wash and ink, ink painting I hope you like it and well maybe it helped you to see a little bit more about that technique and to get into the inktober mood and if you do like this video please hit the like button share it comment and if you haven't still well please do subscribe to my channel what are you waiting for and if you want to go even step further and maybe consider joining my channel listen to click on that button next to the subscribe button listen to the offer and then again well decide whether or not you want to join and i would 
really want much appreciate that and again thank you guys so much for watching and for all your support and i hope i'll see you next time bye